Hi guys, so Jerry here from One Foot in the Door, and today we are looking at the performance by Tom Hardy in Lock. This was requested by Luck and Boone, so thank you very much, Luck and Boone. Uh, now, Lock is a brilliant, brilliant movie, a fantastic performance by Tom Hardy. Um, so, for those of you who don't know, Lock is is just one long scene, effectively. It is just Tom Hardy's character, Lock. Uh, in a car having a series of uh, phone conversations as his life basically falls apart. So, uh, spoiler alert, we do need a little bit of context to this, okay? So Locke is a very solid man, okay? He's got a family, he's got a construction work that he loves and he's got his own values. His dad was not a nice person his dad was a cheater and someone that he really despises and he really doesn't want to become his dad it turns out that he made a big mistake a few months earlier and the mistake was that he cheated on his wife and it was a drunken night he regretted it all the rest but the point is he has very recently learned that the woman he slept with is pregnant and is in fact about to give birth to his son. So he drops everything and just drives to London to be with her, basically. To make up for his mistake, he doesn't want to be to become his father. And during this uh, because it was such a last minute thing, he didn't have time to, to tell his wife, to tell his children, to explain himself. So he just left, leaves everything and goes and it's through these series of conversation that he has that he tries, he tries his best to, to be fair to everyone, to try and be the best man he can. And of course he fails because nobody can in that situation. And let's just look at what happens now. Hey, Dad. So? We won. Ah, oh, what was the score? 3 1. Good, good. Good. Caldwell Robinson and Caldwell again. Good. Right away, just that nothing that waiting in between the goods they, they, those good 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 they, they, they don't mean anything of course it's been written like that but it is that expectation we we already know that he's not thinking about the match he's thinking about what's going on with his son and he's waiting to hear his son actually tell him something is everything okay yeah. No. Uh, Mum looks like she's seen a ghost. She broke some plates. Yes. Well, something's happened. I'll, um, I'll explain when I'm not driving. She's upstairs. Yes. I'll, ex I'll explain when I'm not driving and when I'm with you and Eddie together, you know? I, uh... I've only just explained it to myself. And here we start to see the cracks really show. Uh, the advantage of a scene like this is exactly the fact that he can show us what he's feeling whilst trying to sound natural and relaxed with his son. But those tears are just incredible because we see how much he's holding back. He's trying his best to hold his, hold his emotions, but he can't, there's just so much. And yet, his voice never falters. She said you're not coming home ever. Well, she's, she's distressed. Are you coming home? Where, where else would I go? So I'll tell Eddie that you are coming in. He's been crying. 
Look, when I get to the other end, I'll call. Sean, you tell Eddie that it's okay, and that I'll make it okay. Okay? Doesn't feel like it's okay. It felt different after half time. I'll fix it, and it'll all go back to normal. Now you should go to bed. Yeah. Third goal was amazing. Caldwell. Took around a keeper. Good God, Caldwell's a donkey. Look, normally he's a donkey, but tonight he was brilliant. That's a miracle. What a miracle. Right, that's it. Go on, good night. Night, Dad. See you tomorrow. Yes, absolutely. Hopefully. We'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. There's just so much, so much in those tears, in that performance. And more, most often I tell actors that it's not about the tears, it's about the emotions underneath. And that's totally true. But in this case, the tears do add a lot. Because we see how, what a good job he's doing at pretending to be fine, at sounding fine. If you only listen, you could not tell at all that he is that upset, he's that or heartbroken. But it's the combination of his acting and those tears that actually make it possible, that make it so raw and hard and truly, truly amazing as a performance. Um, this was very difficult as a piece of acting. Like, it is literally just him talking on the phone like you've seen for the whole movie and it's incredible. It is absolutely incredible. So guys, I do recommend you watch the whole thing. Uh, please let me know what you think in the comments below as, as always, okay? And as always, if you have any recommendation for other pieces of great acting, please do let me know as well. Uh, thank you so much. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.